Hey guys, Gina here, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you some really practical tips to help you stop falling asleep while reading. Now, let me just say this is not a joke video. I thought it would be really helpful, okay? Now, if you're anything like me for a really long time, you thought that a book must be really boring if you're falling asleep while reading it. Either that, or maybe you're just not a really good reader and you fall asleep because you're just not meant to be reading at all. Well, there are actually a few practical things that you can change about you and your surroundings to stop yourself from falling asleep while reading, and I'm gonna go through each of them in this video. Okay, let's start with three tips that all revolve around your eyes. Tip number one, you might need glasses. Doesn't matter what age you are, if you're falling asleep while reading, it might be because your eyes are having to work too hard, and so they need to take a break, which means that they'll start to close themselves. So if you haven't had your eyes tested yet, or you need to get them retested, it might be worth doing because then they will give you glasses and your eyes won't strain as much and you can read to your heart's content. But what if it's not your eyesight that's the problem? Tip number two, you might need better lighting. We all know that to read a book properly, you need enough light on the page to be able to see the words. If you don't have enough light, your eyes will be straining to read whether you realize it or not resulting in tired eyes that just can't help but close themselves. To counteract this, of course, make sure there's plenty of light on your book so you can read. But it's not just the light on the book's page that's necessary, it's also the light within the whole room. Because if the room is too dim, you'll trick your brain into thinking that it's time to go to sleep, and if your goal is to not fall asleep while reading, then you need to illuminate the entire room. I'm talking even light. There shouldn't be one light in the corner of your eye that's too bright, or one that's brighter than the others. This includes a window. If you can feel your eyes straining with that kind of uneven light, or you can see it in the corner of your eye, you may need to adjust it down or up to make it more even so that you can read easily. Okay, we have one more eye tip to think about. Tip number three, your eyes might be a bit dry. If you're attempting to read for long periods of time, then you might not realize it, but your eyes might be getting really dry. This could result in eyes that are gritty, tired, or sore, or even just closing a lot more often because they need to moisturize themselves. This happened to me fairly recently when I started to increase the amount that I was reading. If your eyes are dry, pick up some eye drops and use them. Next, let's think about your brain. Tip number four, you may need a teeny tiny distraction. Even if you're really into a book, you might still find yourself nodding off, especially if you're reading in a quiet space. If this is the case, a little background noise would help. I put on some lo-fi music while reading to help set the mood, but also to give me a little distraction every now and again. This distraction, say if the song changes or gets slightly louder, will in a way wake me up and help me regain focus on the book. Lo-fi works for me because there's no recognizable tune or singing or anything like that, so it's just enough of a small distraction to tap me on the arm and keep me on track on the book I'm reading. It's worth giving a go next time you're having a reading session, stick on some quiet music in the background and see if it helps you stop falling asleep while reading. Tip number five, you might need a little refresh. If you're anything like me, when you really get into a reading session, you forget to drink water at all while you're reading. Dehydration can result in fatigue, which in turn can make you sleepy. Whereas if you remain hydrated while you're reading and taking water while you're reading, your mind and body will have what it needs to function effectively. By keeping water beside you while reading and of course drinking it, you'll make sure your body has what it needs to stay awake. Plus, by taking the time to take a drink while reading, you're looking away from the page and switching your brain to a new task, keeping it alert and awake. I, in particular, really like to have really cold water in general, so I feel the cold water increases this tenfold. Okay, so what about if it's nothing to do with your eyes or the lighting or the room? What then? Bonus tip number six, you might genuinely be tired in which case a nap will do you a world of good. There have been many times where I have simply fallen asleep while reading because I'm really tired. It happens. If this is the case, don't fight it. Take the nap when you can. If 
you've had a really long day or a really tiring week or in general you're just really tired you'll know it and if you're falling asleep while reading because of it then take the nap your body and mind deserve a rest okay there we have it five tips to stop you from falling asleep while reading but i would love to know if you have any additional tips including these ones leave them in the comments below so everyone can share and try them out and i will see you next time for another video